found a number of use cases recently which can really highlight the power of it, training. So perhaps rather than bringing people physically into an environment and training them, you can give them the device and train them from anywhere. Any sort of remote assistance, so uh, for instance if there's um, a doctor who's not fully trained on a, on a type of operation but an expert is somewhere else in the world, that expert can see what the doctor sees and give them advice, walk them through the operation, that sort of thing. I think augmented reality will become an integral part of most surgeries. So we have just saw that recently uh, with one of our partners, Brain Lab, who creates 3D images of um, CAT scans and MRIs. And we worked with them and University of California at Davis to uh, walk through an actual surgery where they separated some conjoined twins. They essentially put the 3D scan of the brain in the middle of the room and all of the surgeons and the support personnel could see the same thing. They were able to outline the pathways of the surgical process. They were able to uh, educate the parents of the two children that were being separated, what was gonna happen in the operation. So I do think that introducing augmented reality creates a much safer and a better environment going forward. Augmented reality had been around for a while, but I would say that pandemic has been a catalyst for its adoption as companies had to immediately go to remote working solutions, this technology can deliver that. So if you think about design teams who previously had come together in a room to design a car or shoes or anything, now could design literally with their teams being anywhere. They put the device on and in the middle of their living room, they have the car. <laughs> and it's the same model that someone remote is also working on and so it's really improved the way that design teams can work but even post-COVID I believe that type of remote working will continue as we move into more of a hybrid workplace.